Welcome to Old Guy Tech. The OGT.TV recording studio. Technology for the rest of us. 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 Hi, this is Rob Charney with Old Guy TV, and today we have James Stevenson and Hello. John Charney Hello. with us. Uh, we're going to do another one of our roundtable discussions of this random uh, <laughs> random news stories that I pick for the day, and I think I've got a few good ones for the guys. So, But uh, since we are about tech, uh, we'll start out with uh, the announcement today that uh, Skype is officially now a Microsoft division. So... Either you're really happy that some company like Microsoft has come and purchased Skype, or you're really upset because who knows what's going to happen with it. So Updates. Updates? <laughs> so uh, so it, did you think that uh, that Skype didn't do updates quickly enough? And is this a well, good update a, or a bad update? Thing? I kind of got sick of all the IM stuff after a while. Yeah. I mean, Yahoo, what was it? Yahoo, Google. Well, there's Yahoo Messenger. Yahoo Messenger, and Yahoo Messenger even goes with your email, too, and there's all this stuff, and it just gets kind of boring after a while, but I didn't, I'm not that familiar with Skype. I've used it a little bit. Right. Uh, put it on a few people's computers and set it up so that they can use them. Yeah. But never really used Skype all that much. I do know a lot of people like it. Yeah, I, I've used it. We've used it at home um, when I've been on the road. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll call them and talk. Yeah. I, I do think the, the the best part of this story has been mentioned. The latest update stripped out all the Google bundles. <laughs> they actually removed all the all the bundles that Google the the previous people had put the Google stuff with it. Hmm. Apparently, according to a story I read earlier today, that it removed all the Google stuff with the latest update on Skype. Mm-hmm. What Google bundle? I don't. I, I don't know. According Can't to the story, it was, according to the story, it had some Google stuff on it. So, huh. I just thought that was the best part. No, that's pretty interesting. But just with any Microsoft product that you have, there's updates, tons of them. I mean, the updates for their operating systems are what every two weeks? They well, have every, two update that, every Tuesday, every yeah. Tuesday there's some. Yeah, but some usually kind of every two weeks there's an update that is forcing you to restart your computer because it's such right. a large update, or right, it's right. something that's changing some critical software, or something like that. Even with the the Xbox 360. I mean, there's updates every Not three weeks to a month or two. Well, only generally but, for you know. games. There's generally no major system updates. They do, uh, generally it's once a year or twice a year for actual major system updates. Yeah, but they generally well, those have... those are patches. Those are, those are actually... But they generally No, no, they're have... actually system updates for the yeah. Xbox. Once a month. Oh, oh, it's Xbox. like once or twice a year, it's actually system updates. Yeah, not, not patches. Actually, the large, the more recent one was just for that uh, Avatar clothes. Yeah. But um, they usually have, you know, uh, just kind of minor updates like the one they had recently, like about a week ago. Did you have that one go through yet? Probably. But anyway, it was just a just maintenance update. You yeah. Know? But they have yeah. updates like that. But So oh, that's it's, your, it's, your prediction is <laughs> Skype is now going to have updates, updates. <laughs> at, at least uh, twice a month. And, uh, well, that may be. I don't know. Well, but, but I will say but that... Um, I don't have anything against Microsoft products uh, in general, though. I think they're actually pretty decent. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you're uh, just a closet Mac fan. No, <laughs> get back in the closet. <laughs> I, I agree. I think Microsoft does make some wonderful make products. Steve Jobs as well as jokes right now. <laughs> 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 have to no, wait. No, no, you gotta wait. Can't do it just yet. It's not like Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, it's about time. You can make one now. Uh, oh, good grief! Hello. You know, we gotta <laughs> figure out how to. Can anybody hear me? We gotta get this phone. Phone so it doesn't ring in our studio. Just take it off the hook for, <laughs> yeah. for this recording. We'll figure it out. There's a code. I'll, I'll get it. Okay. So anyway, with Skype, um, Microsoft taking it over, it's going to be a complete different division. They're going to have the Skype division. And you know, um, sometime here, I wouldn't mind uh, doing one of our uh, discussions, having you use Skype, Skype into us, and. Okay. And uh, we'll try That'd it because, yeah, because we need to get that going. Um, we can put you in the closet. There's a lot of shows uh, that do use Skype. Uh, Leo Laporte used Skype almost exclusively. Uh, he uses a new program now, I think. Oh, does I, th he? I think they use Skype yeah. as a backup. Who? Leo Laporte. Laporte. Have you heard of the the Twit Network? Yeah, I've heard. I know what it is. I just have. Yeah. yeah. Well, for a long time he used Skype, and I think the recent the recent iteration when they they changed studios, I think they're using something different. So I they're just probably don't know what pay, it is. Uh, they're probably not using a free product now. They're probably using, oh, yeah. since they're flush with cash, yeah, supposedly. Yeah, something like Fuse Meeting or uh, some of the other... Uh, well, go to Cisco, meeting, yeah. yeah, there's a bunch of different meeting sites that they why, actually why, use. Uh, 
Well, I think this one's more of a hardware solution. My guess is it would be including some sort of hardware. Huh. That would be my guess. I don't That's know if it's right, I but but that would be my guess. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I know, but interesting to see you know see what happens to Skype. My biggest yeah, worry is they're going to buy it and bury it. I wouldn't mind yeah. trying Skype. I don't know about the. I've seen the video quality of Skype, and it's generally pretty good. Yeah, but yeah. it all, all depends on your own It depends on the connect, connectivity yeah, and, I, and I, computer. I, I, yeah. I don't see Microsoft burying Skype. I mean, they're not like Yahoo. Um, they'll, they'll hold on to it. I mean, it might it may become something different. They'll keep the name, but it, I, it'll be... I don't really see them making drastic changes to it because it's already been doing it yeah. well on its own. It's a huge brand. I don't see so, them really changing it. However, if it was bought by Yahoo, it would have become like Flick or, or Delicious. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, one of the things that they're doing now, and we haven't tried this yet either, is that with a paid version of Skype, you get uh, group chat a video. So you can have, a, you know, more than one or one or two or three people, I guess, on a, on a video chat. I don't know. I I'm always have kind of issues about some of those sites that there's a free versions of things and then there's also a paid version of things. Right. It doesn't really make much sense to really spend the extra money for something that's either ad-free, which is one of them, like uh, Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus is supposed to be ad-free. And then... Re- re- wait, really? Since when? That's what I've heard. I don't know. Because I, I, that's I, what they were trying to market it as when they first put it out. Because when they had the beta, I got a, a beta invite, and there were still there were still ads. ads. Matter of fact, that's one of the reasons I stopped using it just because it I got mad been, at the ads. It might have been something like when you don't get past the beta version. I don't know. Because because uh, what I've heard is the what they do. I guess they have four episodes of the recent thing of recent shows. I heard what it does is it allows you to access back seasons or the yes. entire season. Yes. Right. That you can access the which entire is why, seasons. One of the coolest things why that they Netflix. were doing that almost made me think about getting it was they had all the old SNL shows mm-hmm. with, um, you know, uh, Bill Probably Murray. B- and, Belushi. And, and Belushi. And all those guys. Good <laughs> Saturday Night Live. That, yeah, yeah, the yeah. good Saturday Night Live. Steve Martin, all those guys. Back when they're prime. And I almost considered doing it, but... It's the same thing as what you're saying with the Skype, where it's, you know, you have this little genre that they're trying to market and get you to pay for. Mm -hmm. I don't really see a point unless you're going to be using it quite a bit. I mean, if it's, if you're wanting to turn it into a meeting site, like you're saying, Mm -hmm. like if you have it for business things, go ahead. That, That makes sense. But as far as a personal user, I don't see that really changing that much. I mean, well, everybody has a, a different opinion. I happen to like the 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 idea of a free version and a paid version. Um, okay. And usually, it's because the paid version is a premium of some type. There's something in it that is, that's bringing you um, a value that that you don't get in the free version. Maybe I mean, ads, you, or maybe if you think about it, there's all these other ones like uh, um, was it uh, Hotmail. The MSN Messenger chat and right. there's well, they call Yahoo ya- Yahoo chat that you can do group stuff in there with it anyway. So as, as far as a personal person, well, but that's not video. Yeah, they have video. Well, they you can do multiple videos, different video chats with di- multiple people. I don't know how many you can actually fit on there. I've I, I know I have actually done, only done it with two other people. So I have my video up. One person has a video up. Another person has a video up. And there's three. So and different. what did you consider the quality? I. It was mostly need, dependent on the connection, like yeah, you said. Yeah. Is, and the points it was choppy. Most of the time it was smooth. But, well, you know, what I'm saying is that what there, I'd like to there do are now, free sites for that. Now now that you've brought the challenge on, <laughs> we're going to do a challenge Skype. Is okay. what we're going to do. Yeah. We'll, we'll try a Skype. We'll try Yahoo. We'll try whatever you think would be a good run for its money free. And we'll see right. what happens. Okay. Okay. All right. So you got the challenge. So we'll set that up next week, and we're gonna we're gonna challenge online, see what uh, see which looks better. So, uh, but I, I have the experience with Skype. I do not have the video experience with Yahoo. I mean, we you know I am it's my biggest experience with uh, that. That means I have to actually put some. <laughs> you gotta wear some clothes. <laughs> chat sites on there. Well, we can always have you do it on the cloud. Oh, that's true. <laughs> But yeah, that, anyway, that's okay, what I'm just so saying is that there's other things that you need to depend on and do the research on before you actually decide that you want to spend the money on it. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's just dependent on quality. Right. So. Right. Well, it'll be interesting. Microsoft is pledging to continue to make Skype available for non-Microsoft products. 
So for the iPads, iPhones, Androids, uh, for the Mac OS. Uh, it will be cool though, I think, to have Outlook integration. Skype did just remove Google they Toolbar. This is it, John. Oh, okay. This is what you were talking about. Skype did just remove Google Toolbar distribution from the latest version of Skype for Windows, however. Huh. So, you're right, it did, they did do that. All right, so guess what they paid for Skype? A couple of, like a billion? Yeah, 8.5. 8.5 billion? Yeah, 8.5 billion. Come on, that's pocket change. Yeah, Dang. jump change, huh? Well, come on, look at Apple. They have 75, I think they have 75 billion in cash in the bank. So, I mean, Microsoft makes billions of dollars a year. Yeah, that's, that's still true. a big investment, but it's cheaper than buying Yahoo. Well, I mean, with their Microsoft points for one. Oh, well, aren't they? God. They, ha much, haven't they much. said they're still going to consider buying Yahoo? Uh, no, nah, rumors say yes, and I guess Microsoft said, "Why would we want to do that?" At this Good point, question. Well, consider this point, consider it, the fact that Bing, the Yahoo is using Bing for. Well, I mean, at this point, the, most part. the only thing I'd want would be Flickr or something else. I mean, they have a bunch of services people would want, but I don't know if I'd ever want to buy them. Yeah, totally. Well, there's a service that does worry me that I like a lot and I use um, in my photography business is is Flickr mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, I, I use the paid version of it because it gives me more storage uh, and I like the link with the website on it. Uh, I think Flickr is very good and it worries me because I think it's the forgotten child um, with Yahoo. I, I, they're just not updating it and they're not putting the money to it, at least not that I've seen. Well, the Delicious was just bought, which was a Yahoo property. I don't remember who bought it, but the couple of guys who were a previous... I wish I remembered. They just they just bought Delicious and rebooted Delicious, so somebody might eventually buy Delicious. Right, right. But but it's probably a loss leader for Yahoo. I mean, it probably takes an incredible amount of bandwidth. I just put up a <clears throat> how much does, how much money does Microsoft make per minute? Somebody said uh, at least uh, ten thousand U.S. dollars per minute. Per minute. Ten thousand? It's got to be more than that. That's it's, they said at least. Yeah, at least yeah. ten thousand per minute. I was actually kind of curious, trying to find out if uh, they actually would tell you how much they make off of Microsoft points alone. Because think about it. Well, it's one of those things that and you, you can think never use everybody them all. is using Microsoft points per day. Every few, I mean, if somebody makes Xbox. a purchase every hour, I mean, it just a decent amount is fifty dollars to get a decent amount of Microsoft points off of there. So. And you can never you can never use all of them at the same yeah, time. Or you yeah, always I have like ten left or like eight. You know, <laughs> the, you, you know, you can never actually use every last bit without buying more. Actually, I was just still pissed off to find out that uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Shimmering I Shivering Isles was about thirty dollars worth of Microsoft points. That's a lot of Microsoft points. That is a lot of Microsoft points. That's why I haven't done it. It's a add-on for one of the games. No, oh, okay. Elder, it's uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Yeah. Which Skyrim is coming out soon. 11, 11, 11. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't either. <laughs> I have my you reserve. Gamers, you gamers. I've been saving up Microsoft uh, points just for that game. Just for that game. <laughs> I can't wait. I, I just I hope they have... don't have horse armor pack. <laughs> oh my. You know, I still don't know if that's worth it. I just I do it anyways just because I want my horse to have as much life as it can because I buy time with that thing. Just messing around doing stupid stuff. But... Yeah, I don't know. You can't repair it, so I'm wondering if it dies like your normal armor. Anyway, we can move on. To well, the that next means stuff. you gotta feed it, and you gotta shoe it, and you. No, no that's the great thing about a it. video game. You don't yeah. have to practically oh. clean up the horse poop, or oh, so it's not like Farmville. No. Oh, oh God, right. do you really have to do that Farmville now? That would be kind of creepy. Does anybody clean still do stuff? Farmville? It started out real hot and heavy, but I don't know. I, I haven't. I think people actually still do it. I've known people that get really excited about it. it but yeah. And people spend money on it, which I never understood. Well, oh, yeah. I never, I, you know, I don't understand paying money for any of the games on Facebook or even people were... I know it's ancient now, but MySpace. There's people spending money on MySpace games, too. I don't understand that. So what is going to happen with MySpace? Oh, it's, oh, I think it's not being around dead. anymore. I think. I think uh, somebody was making jokes that the only people on there are, you know, underage girls, pedophiles, and bands. That's Those pretty are the much only it. People that use uh, MySpace. I, I have honestly can say I haven't looked at it at least in a year. I have I no. Think I looked at it probably last year. I got on Did there you? just to see what was on there, and it. Well, I still have a MySpace. I don't page. know. You can see the tumbleweed dancing across the screen, you know, type thing, and. <laughs> 
Hear the crickets in the background. Watch all the uh, watch all the animated gifs. It's like Some the little cat in the background. Going, or it's like it's you know like the early web all over again. Yeah. Anyway. Well, John and I did a piece this uh, this week about uh, Google Plus about uh, the fact that even Google's own people aren't using it, <laughs> and uh, their executives wow. aren't using it, and uh, that it was a knee jerk. On Twitter. <laughs> it was a knee jerk reaction to uh, Facebook. The, uh, Google said they had to do something, and they put the engineers in charge of this, and the engineers built Google Plus, and that's why it looks like it does. Um, I, you know, I, I got one of the early invites, and, you know, I was kind of excited to try it, but i got to be honest with you, I, I, I'm still with, you know, Facebook. I, I just don't see Google Plus hanging in there. I see it being another product that might go away. Well, I know so. that Facebook has got worried about Google Plus coming out. That's why the most recent yeah, uh, Google Plus why, updates. That's why they've done some of the updates that they have. John was complaining that it's you know their way to steal everything from <laughs> Google Plus. They did. Yeah, they, they, they stole those. like three or four features from them. Right. You know, wait, wait. and honestly, I don't like the new updates that they've done. I don't. I don't to like the Facebook. Facebook. Oh, okay. I don't like the new interface. I don't like the new sidebars that tell you everybody's business. You see, because there's multiple people on there that I don't even. I mean, if they actually sent me something, I'd start talking to them and responding to them. But I don't need to see all the stuff they've been doing. You know, the, the right I think side. there's a control for you. There is on that. So. Well, actually, there is. So you actually, have to actually go to their thing, unsubscribe from them. Right. There should be a universal control just to turn exactly. the whole thing off. Exactly. But I actually like the bar. I mean, I actually don't. Mind I like it, it now. for certain people. Yeah, but like, in generally but, it doesn't bug me. But then you know, I have about three hundred people on my Facebook uh, over that somewhere around three hundred people. So you know, I'm not paying attention to that sidebar thing all the time. And every now and then I realize I have somebody in there that I'm like, well, I don't really need to know that they're going to the bathroom right now. That's fantastic. Let's remove that. Have you actually seen that? That sounds like a well, Twitter, Trump. Twitter thing. <laughs> or my me. friend that I was reading you some of his yeah, random yeah. posts. Oh, it's, it's Trung? No, no. I was going to say. <laughs> I was because I remember that guy. I don't remember him being that random. N- well, you never know. But um, there are just things that I don't really care to, you know, there's people that post stupid things constantly I don't really care about. So <laughs> Welcome you just to unsubscribe. humanity. Every, people do stupid stuff all day long and yeah, not just I online. <laughs> <laughs> you know, matter of fact, we're going to get into a couple of things that people do that are stupid right, We're probably stuff. wasting time on this. No, so. we're not. No, okay. no. We've got to remember, this is the tech, tech talk right now, so we've got to do our tech stuff. So okay, I, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, so that, well, anyway, so we're going we're gonna to see what happens with Skype. I guess we're. I, I guess we buried Skype, but threw the paper down already. So. All right, so we're done Skype, with Skype. Skype we'll, is we'll done. We'll do the Skype challenge later, I guess. Yeah, since it's yeah out there. And, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to the, the Skype and your Yahoo. Uh, we'll do uh, Yahoo, and I guess we can shot. see what MSN has to. Okay. I haven't used that one in years, MSN. Yeah. So I don't. I don't even know. I didn't even know they had one. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're MSN. All, is, uh, that's the the Microsoft MSN, and that. That's, well, I know about MSN, but I. Didn't know they had a video chat. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Matter of fact, it's still popular. I mean, there's some countries that that's all they use. I'll be darned. Well, Korea. see, I'm I'm an old guy. I'm an old guy doing tech, so you got to help me along here. He <laughs> prefers ICQ or AIM. So. <laughs> AIM. Oh so well, so that means we all have to establish accounts. So whatever, you whatever you figure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't want to hear forgot that. Forgot about that, huh? Oh. <laughs> You're living in a happy world yeah, without no you got mail. <laughs> that was like the guy who did the Yahoo oh, thing. God. He did that for them in the very beginning for like fifty dollars, oh, and wow. then as as they got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, he kind of finally went to him and said, don't, "Don't you think you ought to kick down a little bit more? <laughs> it was worth a little bit more." I think they ended up giving him something like a hundred thousand dollars. Well, see, now wow. he can buy yeah. Yahoo. Fifty dollars so. to a hundred thousand. Yeah, wow, well, wow, that's quite a. Well, that's Quite when Yahoo was number one, and uh, you know now, they, now you can buy him with a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. I have no idea what Yahoo's valued that. I, I, Microsoft wanted to buy him, and I thought it was only like the three billion dollar range, something like well, that. Well, they were going to do thirty three cents a sh- like thirty three dollars a share. I mean, there was actually quite a bit of money, and then the the one of the co founders basically said no, and now it's you know. Wasn't a bunch like two guys that did Yahoo? Yeah, it was Jerry Yang and somebody else, but I don't yeah, remember who the name I is. Yeah, I never remember the. Was I was never people. a Yahoo fan, so yeah. I was okay in the beginning, but then it just got slammed with ads and just junk. 
Well, you know, it, it was their I like simple version things. of trying to make money, and they threw it in your face. No, it was the problem. No, it was good what they did. I mean, they, what they did was their own little marketing scheme, and and they got to a certain niche, and they marketed to those people, and that was great. That's great for what they did. They did a really good job, and their search engine was actually good. It was a good search engine, but when they just started getting together and just putting all these ads and other things, news stories, weather. Uh, you know, entertainment, all this stuff that when you loaded up their uh, search engine that came up with it, it just kind of got way too much. You couldn't really tell what you wanted to do anymore. So that's why I prefer Bing or Google as a search engine because I'm not sworn by a bunch of useless information with it too. So do you have, um, and 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 I agree with you, I used to have Yahoo... It's more like their media center would be your homepage where, you know, it brings up all your news. Yeah, and brings my up Yahoo. Your, yeah, yeah, my, my Yahoo. Yahoo. I used to use that a long I mean, time ago, too. a number of years ago, but I haven't used it at least a year, and now I'm, I'm using iGoogle. So, I mean, I... I oh, yeah. iGoogle? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I, I like it. I, I really just use it. Bing, so... Yeah. yeah I still... I, it's... I use uh, Google on... I use Google Chrome and I use mm-hmm. Firefox. Mm-hmm. And on Firefox, I like to use Bing. And on the Google Chrome, I use Google. Google. Yeah, obviously. But <clears throat> but I I like them both. I mean, you don't get a bunch of useless stuff along with it that comes up with ads. The one thing I don't like about Google Chrome is sometimes, <clears throat> excuse me, it keeps uh, way too much history, and you have to go in and clear out your history every now and then. See, isn't there a setting like Firefox? Like every time I close my browser, I remove my history and all my cookies. Yeah, there, there is. There is. There is. There is. And, and I've never experienced that problem. I use it. Uh, Chrome is my favorite browser. I think it's yeah. also because I just usually kind of leave my browsers up. I don't yeah. really close them all yeah. the time. I just minimize them or go to a different browser page. Right. And, you know, I don't close it all that often. But I do like that it will save the previous tabs I have open. If yeah. I close it, I can open it back up and have all those come right, back right, up. Right, right. Yeah, well, and that's why I don't have it clear in my browser history when I close it. So I have to go in and yeah. clear the whole thing out. The only thing is that if you don't do it regularly and you go to do that, it can take about 10 minutes to clear your browser history sometimes. It, well, it sure, if it gets that large, uh, yeah, it's understandable. Yeah. But no, I, I, uh, Chrome is by far my favorite browser. But you know yeah, what the I other one that nice. I really like? And you don't hear hardly anything about in the States is Opera. Uh, okay. No, don't like Opera. Oh, Opera, Opera is nice. No, I'm against. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I'll, I'm against them. I I uninstalled them on purpose after what they made Microsoft do. So well, mm. I you know I teach his own. Opera. That. Mine was a moral I stand. The ones that I refuse to use are Safari. Safari just I just don't like it. It doesn't work well on Windows. And the other one that I don't like using is um, Mosaic. Uh, Mosaic. <laughs> and, Mosaic. Uh, I am. Um, That's pre Netscape. I, I don't like Explorer. Yeah. See, I, I yeah. like IE9. I use it sp- for, like... I've heard a lot of people like IE9. I just... Well, I use it for specific things. I'll use it just for watching Netflix or just having Pandora open or it, stuff like me, that. To it, me, it feels like it's, like, a Yahoo version of a browser. Like, what I was just talking about, they, when you open it up, there's just way too much stuff that comes along with it. Boy, IE9, I, I IE9 is minimalist. I don't I think mean, so. Yeah, I want to agree with you. IE9 hardly has anything coming Well, I haven't anymore. used IE9. I, yeah, no, no. Like I said, is after all the other stuff that I dealt with. It's got a very as, clean interface. I have, to, it? I have to admit it, it does, yeah. I and like IE9. Yeah. It's much better than well, 8. Well, the older versions that I've used before, I experienced way too much additional stuff that came along with it, like well, the tab, the browser, uh, the. Um, the the bars that come along with it, mm-hmm. you get a, like multiple bars, and that I just don't use them. I yeah. don't like them. Yeah, it, it's it, much cleaner now. Yeah. It, it when it when I have to sit there and I'm installing something, and I just have to sit there and start reading every page that comes up and unclicking things that come along with it. That's just too much work for me, and I'm just done with it. I don't I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. Well, fortunately, most of that has gone gone away, and IE9 is very clean. My, my biggest complaint about the whole thing is that to do the Windows updates, or Microsoft product updates, you have to use IE. And, hmm. and that bothers me. That's why and, I have IE know. tabbed. Yeah, well, I mean, so, so that means if you're going to do it where it's easy to use, in my case, I make IE my default browser, although I use Chrome almost exclusively. Yeah. So, um, you know, so that life's a little easier. You know, Microsoft wants to do an update. You can do go to go, but it's uh, uh-uh, you got to use IE to do it. 
So then you got to change your default. So anyway, that's what I've done. I've, hmm. I've used it, but okay. yeah, well. you need to try uh, uh, nine and take a look uh, at it because it's a lot. At it's a lot, a lot cleaner. But I use it specifically for just you know like Pandora, Netflix. I ne- I don't do anything else besides you know like or Hulu. I you think know. the last time I actually used IE besides somebody else's computer is probably around 2002, 2001. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is a long time ago, you know, and I know there you, was a bunch of tabs. And you don't know nothing, buddy. I, <laughs> here I brought you on thinking you knew something. I <laughs> well, when I use it on other people's computers, that's oh, what I'm saying, okay, too. Okay. So I, just, I look at all the junk that comes along with it, and I'm just like, this is just... Well, everybody else install, installs like the Yahoo toolbar, or Bing toolbar, or this toolbar, and I hate toolbars. Well, you know? I know that those come with some of the versions, well, some it, of the older versions of IE. Well, so. well, part of the problem is it comes with a lot of software and people install, and most people don't realize that it does. So you'll install software like from uh, uh, Download, from the download.com, that the CNET property. Yeah, I, I know what you You know, it comes about. with, you know, when you when you do their installation to download it, it, it includes a toolbar. Yeah, um, also, not only that, but uh, some of the other ones. Um, so that's the problem. And you, you, you open a web browser and you've got like nine different tabs and, you know, a three-inch viewing area. I, you know, I hate tabs. Yeah, I, I don't mind tabs. I mean, some tabs are fine. I mean, but, I mean, I, if you're taking I mean, the toolbars. Yeah, toolbars. The toolbars just get annoying. Yeah, I, I, the only reason I ever used the Yahoo toolbar, because it was, the, for a long time, was the best pop-up locker. But since most website web browsers come with pop-up lockers, I haven't used a toolbar in ages. Yeah, that was probably one of the better add-ons to all the browsers. Was a pop-up blocker. That yeah. that was that was crazy for a while there in the early pop-up stages, where you know no matter you went, all of a sudden you get a pop-up, and then another one, and another one, and another one, and and this wasn't even didn't even have to go to a porn site to have this happen. I mean, it was going anywhere. You know, it was uh, it was ridiculous. So I'm glad that's gone. Yeah, all I right. think uh, one of the people that needs to be hung is the per- person that came up with pop-ups. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever designed well, pop-ups needs to be. I don't know. Back in the day, <laughs> taken uh, out and strung up. I don't know. Back in the early web days, I had a you know I, I used a pop-up browser so I could have music playing so I could turn it off when it got annoying. Because before you just have a MIDI play in the background, so I made a little pop-up and called it a jukebox, and it worked. Everybody thought it was really cool. It is clever. It is clever. So. Well, good. Okay, so we did our, our tech talk for today. <laughs> You're gonna like this one. I, I, you guys need to get a job at the postal service here. It says, postal worker, worker swipe sold seized narcotics. These two brain surgeons, they, uh, it says here in the story that uh, when a suspicious package arrived last month in a New York City post office, it was set aside for examination by the postal inspectors. Since the 12 pound express mail package appeared consistent with parcels that had been previously used to ship narcotics across the country. Uh, so they placed the box on the supervisor's desk, but before the package could be examined by investigators, a postal employee allegedly took the pos- parcel from the supervisor's desk and with the help of the co-worker, cut open the box and removed a brick of marijuana. The oh, pair's actions on September 10 were caught on surveillance cameras. I mean, real brain surgeons. Let's go somewhere where there's cameras. Who, who, who ships it. weed via uh, USB? I mean, <laughs> oh, everybody. Yeah, everybody's got to use uh, well, FedEx. All natural right? 420. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, I just don't see why you would use the any sort of mail to ship drugs. I'm I just it's like asking getting caught, and considering it's it's illegal federal, well, federally. It, it looks like you know, the only thing you may do is lose your narcotics because well, uh, all the criminals in the postal service. Well, go one and of it, it, one of the things techniques that they use is what is known as like the shotgun. What they'll do is they'll take multiple packages and send them all at the same time. It's kind of the same idea that they do with drug meals. They send multiple across right. the border, right. and you know some they are going to get caught, and some are going to get through. Some are going to get through, and some right. are going to get caught. Right. So that's probably what they were doing with that. But twelve pounds? You say twelve? Yeah, twelve yeah. pounds of weed. That's a lot. That is a lot of weed. And did they say how much the brick was? How much the brick actually weighed? Do you think that's enough for personal use? <laughs> No, it doesn't actually. Yeah, the story doesn't go to surprise. say here. But, uh, <laughs> well, uh, I was just curious because I would also go into how uh, how much they actually got charged with like felony. Versus- so well, what what's happened here is they went back to review more of the surveillance tapes, uh, and they they found that it was two women. Uh, they women. Were, women. Wow. They conf- That's uh, actually confessed shocking. to stealing the marijuana inside the package. Um, Will Mac, which I guess was one of the women. Um, what was the name? 
Womack. Womack. Yeah. That's an interesting name for a woman. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Told <laughs> Probers that over the last few months, she has stolen approximately 20 other packages, about four of which <laughs> contain narcotics. You know, the Both Womack and Allen, and that's the other gal, I guess, claim to have received between $1,000 and $2,000 through their respective hijacked narcotics. So all they, so how many, so to specify everything they stole was narcotics, so they just stole packages they thought were interesting? Yeah, I think they just stole whatever they could steal. What no, like. that's like that, I'm that, curious that, if they're going to be charged a felony for each federal. package It'll be that a, they that, stole. Okay, it, that's 12 felonies. Yeah, yeah. tampering with a mail. Yeah, that's, the, well, that's, uh, tampering with a mail is an automatic federal offense, which would fall under the jurisdiction of a felony. Well, yeah, but I mean, you also got, you know, so, the narcotics and... That could be twelve counts of felony tampering. Where is it? Are they and in then, California? It's New, then, York. New, New York. York. This is say, New York. It was in California, which is very interesting that they're actually catching packages of weed and <laughs> not in California, but in New, New, York. New York. I was yeah. gonna say because if it's California, it was that's an automatic three strikes. I mean that's that's uh, oh, yeah, that's yeah, uh, yeah. do not pass go, do not collect two hundred dollars, that's instant life sentence. Yeah. Well, a couple of uh, then nobody ever said that the Postal Service ever hired the most brilliant people, although that's not fair. I'm sure there's a lot of very good, good you think they brilliant claim, people there. But claim I'm sorry, but I went postal. I went postal. That's right. Only if Michael Douglas said it. <laughs> oh. You don't hear too much about them going postal, thank goodness. Not um, anymore. No, so. <laughs> so did, uh, I, I'm, I'm a little surprised this has actually come out, but uh, the L.A. jury is shown photo of a naked Michael Jackson dead on a corner slab. Okay, I don't want to see a clothed Michael Jackson. Dead. Much less a dead, naked one. <laughs> well, here's the picture. Wait, did they actually take the take his nose off? <laughs> Sorry, here you go, John. You, you can be traumatized. I've already seen it, thank you. L- look at the Michael Jackson. <laughs> you see, no, I was more like <laughs> you. Look at the Michael Jackson. <laughs> I was more like you. I wanted to see Skeletor. <laughs> but I just, but I, if, they, if they... Made him naked. Does that mean they actually took his nose off and everything else that wasn't actually part of his body? I didn't think they dismembered him in any well, way. It's not dismembering. It's just removing some cosmetics. Yeah. <laughs> it's like makeup. <laughs> but what I'm surprised is it, it, it's out here for anybody who wants to see it. I don't really want to see it, but you can't help it. It's there. It's in your uh, face. No, so. I, I ignored it. I didn't see it. Yeah. Good for you. I'm gonna send you like I'm gonna spam you just with that. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> Dude, like trying to send me like two girls in a cup and Michael Jackson all in the same. Uh. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, you're this, fired after here's, that. Here's, one. Yeah, oh. that's bad. All right, here, here, here's you're the welcome. here's the gross the gross one for the day. Okay, you're right. Uh, I kind of peeked at this one already. This one's gross. The man emits injecting semen into yogurt. <laughs> A 60 year old Pennsylvania man yesterday was charged with injecting 60? his yes yeah, 60 his semen into multiple food containers. During a ten-month period ending earlier this year, wait, 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 these are in like stores, right? This is like in the ice, you know, in the ice cream section of a grocery store. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He well, what he was doing is he admitted that he injected his semen into yogurt of two female co-workers at a Procter and Gamble plant in Wyoming County. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this wasn't at a grocery store or something that was actually where you could just like randomly go and pick out a yogurt and bam uh, you got semen right um, this was in the plant that made it or this was no no, no. this is in the co-workers actual stuff right yeah this, okay. is, this, is, this is the lunch room this yeah. is like this yeah. is like yeah. the, 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 the 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 shared fridge he knows that he's going in the wrong end to get them pregnant right I don't know what he knows but <laughs> can you imagine how disgusting that is they're saying it says it goes on here. He did it at least thirteen times. Thirteen times. Thirteen times. Yeah. Puff the magic dragon. Wow. Can he get like prosecuted for like? Well, that's hazardous sentence. Yeah, hazardous like, material. Hazardous material or something like that. Well, he's going to be charged version. with taint, tainting food containers. I mean, it's, it's, uh, and a danger to the uh, to the public. So this yeah, is, but this is a pretty that nasty be like charge. Biohazard gonna... waste or something. Yeah, well, maybe, I mean, yeah. Human excrement is biohazard. So wait, does this make does this mean he has to register as a sex offender? I believe it should. <laughs> Doesn't say anything that, but I mean, if Pee Wee Herman's a sex offender, then this guy most definitely should be a sex offender. I, I don't think that guy's actually a registered sex offender. Well, he was jacking off in public, and this guy's doing well, that was other for, stuff well, in that public. Was, that was like ten years or twenty years before the law, yeah, though. That's true, but uh, you know, you know what I'm saying. If that if that's something that would subject you to become a 
a sex offender, then this most certainly should make you become a registered sex offender. But Pee Wee Herman was in a porn theater. Uh, That's part of the cover charge. (laughs) It's public exposure of your your genitalia or whatever you want to call it. I'm surprised it doesn't come with a wet nap. Ew. Ew. Anyway, but that definitely most... (laughs) what, What state is this in? Does it say? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah. I don't know the laws out there, but that should definitely well, I have think him become a registered sex offender. Well, well, the sex offenders also, it's a felon, it's a statewide, no, it's a federal wide thing right now. Don't they have a federal law I don't know that do sex offender? Or is it statewide? Because I, I thought there was a federal law now. I don't know. There may, may be. I, is the federal, like, you can't go near schools? Is that the part of that? And well, then the, if you was, change address, then you have to register as a, in the in the the state or whatever. Well, yeah. no, in the whatever county or district you're in. Well, I, I think the state takes care of all of that because they're the ones that are they're charged with keeping track of all these sexual offenders. Yeah, but, so. telling, but the sex offender has to register. Yeah, that, that's part of the law. Is they right. have to physically right. register and they right. tell you when they move. But yes. I also thought you know right. I thought you know there were just I know there's states that, that have it. I'm pretty sure Nevada has a fella. a sex offender thing. Oh, the, I think every state does, but I think it's a state deal. You know, I oh, okay. think it's a federal. Program. I think hmm. it's a state program. Pretty sure it is, anyway. So. You know, uh, coming off that, I, I think like people who uh, solicit prostitutes should also become registered sex offenders. Legally or illegally? Illegal. Because like, I know, like, I know there's. I mean, in Nevada, there's certain areas that you can actually solicit a prostitute, but I'm saying in states where it's illegal, <laughs> I think that that should be something that you. No, I think they should do is the billboard. They should totally in the freeway and the billboard have one of those giant pictures of you holding the you know the, the number. The board of shame. <laughs> yeah, the board of shame. Yes, it's like it's like you know the walk of shame, but on com- you know, but, but when you're commuting. Hmm. I don't know. And their name, you know, have you seen John Doe? He picked <laughs> up a hooker at. Well, here's another one. This is the most wince-producing assault. That's what they say. The most wince. wince. Yeah, you're wincing. Well, yeah. you're gonna wince here. A Kansas man was stabbed in the scrotum Ow. with a hypodermic needle, which broke off inside. Do you think they watched too many epi- uh, too many four times? They watched the four victim rooms? told cops that the stab stabbing occurred during an argument with the with the needle Midget? wielder. Wait, cops that? believe the attacker is a female acquaintance or girlfriend. <laughs> Maybe not Ex- a girlfriend, girlfriend so much anymore. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe Hopefully, ex girlfriend. Some people like things like that. I was going to say, maybe he was really into SM. Yeah, that, that wouldn't. And that, needle play. I'm not going to say that it's necessarily going to make me wince. Uh, I've actually, I'm wincing uh, right now. I've, just heard, of, about I've it. heard of worse things than that. Well, yeah, but we're not. I don't it's going to make I, me hit her, though. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is. I mean, were they. Where did the hypodermic needle come from? Were they shooting up heroin? Oh yes, it's probably a was group it, like that. They're probably yeah. into the into drugs in that yeah. form. Maybe I mean, they borrowed the needle from the one guy from Pennsylvania. <laughs> I mean, how close are you going to ever let anybody <laughs> near you with a needle? I mean, you I know, mean, must let much less your crotch. I mean, maybe yeah. he hit her and she went down and just I came don't know. right up. I maybe don't know. that was the thing. But I don't like needles other than enough, that. So. I mean, you got to be a so, midget to hit that so area. The, you know, the victim. <laughs> well, you're about as tall. Is not cooperative. He's not cooperating. Huh. He was admitted to St. Francis Hospital for surgery. A CAT scan showed part of the needle broken off inside his scrotum. Oh. Yeah, too bad. Uh, too bad it wasn't Saint. You know, whatever that that, that the Saint of Fools. <laughs> Throwing a nut at a woman. <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, we, I read uh, today <laughs> Your on Reddit. Dad looks very confused now. I, I, I read on today on, on Reddit. I'm no, the old guy. Remember that. <laughs> I, I read today on Reddit. There's a Saint for Fools. And apparently he would feign acting insane by, by throwing nuts at people and doing and random stuff. And dragging a dead dog around. Yeah. So he was the saint of fools. and the, the, No, the saint of holy fools. Okay. Now, my thing... This is a Catholic saint, right? Is because there any other kind of saint? Because to become a saint, you have to perform two miraculous things. I thought it was three. Two. Uh, some say three, some say two. I go with two. Well, according to Bob Kilmer, it's three. <sighs> <laughs> anyway, um, you have to perform two mir- si- miracles after you're dead. Okay. So I want to know what miracles did the Saint of Fool all of a sudden perform after he died? 
And what it is is somebody prays, oh, saint, whatever, or, you know, person protect me or something, and some miracle happens because it, they prayed to you. It sure didn't help Ross Perot. Because I was kind of confused. I'm like, okay, what what are these miracles? Is somebody, like, rubbing themselves up against the guy's dead body, and all of a sudden, ah, oh, my cancer's gone. Sweet. You know, there's one. But okay, now, now, but now I have gangrene. Yeah. Yay. I got bronchitis. <laughs> <laughs> some nasty thing from a dead person. Anyway. <laughs> I want to know what this guy did. Is it somebody like all of a sudden like kick his dead dog and <laughs> I don't know their grandma got up and walked. I, I, did I the, don't know. Did the Benny Hinn thing, you know, hit a guy in a wheelchair and the guy went, ha ah, ha, it's a miracle. I can stand. Yeah, they threw, I don't know. No, threw nuts at him. I think they should have a How list. How did we get on this topic? <laughs> Where did we go? <laughs> we came off hyperdermic. <laughs> no, no, no. This was all yours. We came off oh hyperdermic needles, and somehow you brought up Saint of Fools. Somebody's going to be listening to this going, what the heck? Hey, that's half the fun. That's okay. Hopefully you're, en- hopefully you're enjoying it. If you're listening to this, hopefully one way or the other you're enjoying Otherwise, it. Otherwise, you know, you yeah. should actually listen to Smodcast and see what the tangents they go on. Oh, Those guys go on tangents. See, it's, it's his yeah, fault. Well, and they have hour-long shows. Well, Some of their shorter episodes are like an hour and 20 minutes yeah well it's right ours are going to be going it's and gonna, they talk about easily be an hour. Things. so yeah you know, well, no that's what it's all about I, yeah. i'm just giving so, you a so, hard time so what's the next what's the next story well last Actually, one i think well, he went on his, uh, his finale was the yogurt sperm uh, oh yeah no this one's i hear a song this one on. is another one of these really strange ones a case of unwanted enema <laughs> how do you get an unwanted well, it's enema? Says, um, What's an enema the matter of the unwanted <laughs> enema remains an unsolved case, according to police in Northern Wait, California. Wait, how is it unsolved? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> As detailed in a Sonoma Police Department report, a 53-year-old man who is visually impaired called cops early May to report a bizarre encounter in his apartment. The man, whose name cops re- tra- redacted from his report, said that an unknown female entered his home on Sunday afternoon and announced that she needed to give him an em- enema. While the man thought this to be so much strange, he did not think the enema was entirely out of the question, as he had undergone surgery on his intestines recently and assumed that uh, it had been ordered by his doctor, even though he had not been notified. The woman guided the man into his bedroom, where she had him lay face down on the bed with his pants pulled down. The female gave, then gave the man what he presumed was an enema and immediately left. The man told cops that they was unsure and didn't want to didn't know what to do, but that things happened so fast, he didn't have a chance to object. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, see, wait at a that minute. point, it becomes water play. If it's, you know, because he said yes. If somebody comes in my house, first of all, I'm going to question that. <laughs> Second of all, if they say enema in any form of whatever any they're way, talking shape, about. form, whatever. If it's in they a con- are leaving my house <laughs> at gunpoint. If it's, a, if it's in a civil conversation. That's a I'm threat on my life. Up. So I'm going to threaten their life. You are not putting something up there unwanted at any point. I told you I was going to come up with some random stuff today. That, I did, didn't I? That's pretty random. Yeah. I, I just, you know, just want to know how is it, you know, un, un, just... You know, at that point, you know, if he says yes, it's water play. I mean, it's well, it's, it's it's welcomed at that point. I don't know if he really said yes or just kind of went. Nah. Well, what what she do? Th- throw him into the bedroom, pull down his pants, and then continue to do. Well, so the guy's blind. But my so question he, is, he has no clue what the you know. I, he, obviously, he said it was a woman, but still, you wouldn't think being blind makes you stupid. <laughs> no offense to anybody who's blind out there. This is dumb. The you know. Oh. But my other question is. Are there many women that like to give men enemas? You never know. Type it on the internet. I bet you'll find out. You know, I would be scared to type that in the internet because you don't know what type of pictures are going to pop up with that. <laughs> but you just well, just to the Google, not in the URL bar. Just don't hit. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> we won't go into that. That brought up some bad. Yeah, guy, actually, I'm feeling lucky in enema. I probably shouldn't go together. No, 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 never. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. That wasn't good. Huh? Yeah. Really, some dude just got. Does I, that count as rape? <laughs> you know, it probably could actually. <laughs> I, I think this conversation just ended badly. <laughs> what a way to end the show, huh? Go on a tangent off of this one, buddy. Unwanted. Oh, I could. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's really not that hard. Let's not do that challenge as well. We have a Skype challenge and an enema tangent uh-huh. challenge. Oh no. <laughs> Too bad, you know, too bad I don't have that Mr. Clean commercial jingle ready. 
That is just awkward. I'm not fully clean unless I'm zest fully clean. Oh. <laughs> Random enema woman clean. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did, did, did she did she knock or did she just walk in, open a door? It doesn't say, but either way, she comes she, in with a says, package she of appeared. enema. She appeared. She appeared. Why does this kind of sound like some type of crazy Mormon demon <laughs> angel I, <laughs> visit? Uh, I, I think don't I saw know. this in a Taiwanese movie once. A Taiwanese. <laughs> Alright, with that, All right. I want to say thank you to everybody. I want to thank James Stevens, John Charney, Rob Charney of Old Guy Tech Stay TV. Stay away from NMO. Thanks for watching our show. Women. And, and uh, come on back. We'll hope to see you again. Remember, always say yes. Or no. <laughs> yeah.